Hey guys, today on Life Experiment, we're learning how to use TRX bands. You've seen everybody in the gym use them. Now you're gonna learn how to. With trainer Kelly from More Than Mary, we're gonna get three great exercises on what to do with these funny looking bands. You guys know trainer Kelly from More Than Mary. And uh, so today she's gonna teach me how to use these bad boys. Right? Yep, the TRX bands are awesome. You work your whole body, no matter what movement you're doing, you get to work stability and mobility and everything in between. <laughs> well, the beauty of the TRX bands is that almost any level can use the band because you're working with your own body resistance. So depending on the position you choose, you can make movements, um, not super easy, but you can make movements easier and more challenging right. based on where you put your feet or where you put your hands or anchor yourself. So right. almost any level of fitness can use these. Here. So let's start with a basic squat just to make it simple. Okay. So I want you to lean your body weight back into the band, which is the hardest part for most people to get used to because it's uh, you have to trust in your anchor point. Yes. So another good point, make sure that your anchor is solid. You've leaned all of your body weight back so that your arms are totally straight. Right. Now I want you to do something just so you can show what I want you to not do. I want you to let your shoulder girdle completely collapse so that, okay. there you go. So notice how your shoulders are riding up. I want you to now do it correctly, meaning pull your shoulders back into their socket, get strong between the shoulder girdles. Now I want you to just sit down like you're sitting in a chair, keeping all your weight back into your arms. Just bend those knees, beautiful. Okay. Drive straight back up to the heels. So basic squat. Got it. Simple. For you, not very challenging. So if you need to make it more challenging, I'm gonna have you take one step forward. Good, now try it again, same thing. Oh yeah. So that, again, for you, probably not all that challenging. Uh, for someone just starting, it might be a little bit of a challenge. <laughs> but for you, I'm gonna make it a little harder. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's add some stability to this movement. Put all your weight in your right heel, extending your left leg, engage your core. Yep. And now try that one leg and sit down into the heel, drive through that Ooh. right heel and stand back up. This is really difficult and I am a squat master. <laughs> so let's do a row. You started with the row, go back into that same position you were just in. Let's start with a narrow row. So palms face in. Okay. And as you pull yourself up, elbows graze the sides of the ribs and release yourself down slowly with control. Oh, I like this one. Good. So you're working low between the shoulder blades. Right. Good. Now let's challenge you a little more. Move the work up. I want you to let your elbows come out wide and into a high row. Beautiful. Ooh. A little more challenging. Getting that back, uh, that rear delt. Exactly. Same rules apply. The more your feet walk forward, the more challenging this is going to be. You're just changing those angles to change your resistance. And this is what I see. Oh yeah, you picked a pretty hard level there. <laughs> Everybody doing in the gym. So I could go from just off the fly. I could do my, I could do my squat. Sure. And then my. Sure. Combine those two movements. Makes it even more functional there. Yeah, and the thing that I see people struggle with, your hands and your forearms will hurt the first few times just because we're not used to gripping. Gripping so hard. Yeah, I mean, we're so we've gotten two basic exercises down. Kelly, like, okay, I'm ready for, I'm ready for the killer. Like, <laughs> throw me, throw me in, throw me in, coach. Okay, Mary, let me show you how to get your feet in if, if you're on your own and you want to flip over. So take your right foot and put it in the left loop. Take your left foot, cross it over, put it in the right loop. Now notice your legs are crossed. You're going to flip toward me until your legs untangle and you're automatically ah, prone. I'm prone, baby. Good job. Sweet. Straighten those legs out now and you're in a suspended plank. <laughs> wow, you weren't kidding. Okay. Here we you go. asked for something challenging, right? This is it. Okay, am I done? Take a rest. Drop those knees. Good. So we're gonna add a little bit of core movement. How how challenging was that for you? That was that was pretty that was pretty intense actually. <laughs> that was that was a good. I mean even just this right just here. Just the plank. This would be like a minute, and my abs should be rock solid. I would think, right? <laughs> It'll get you there pretty quick. That core will get strong quick doing this one. Okay. Okay. Come on back up to your plank. We're gonna add a tuck. So once you bend your knees and pull them up. There you go. Ooh. Straighten them back out. So you're shortening the abdominals. I love how you're keeping your shoulder girdle nice and stable, nice and strong. Beautiful. Give me a couple more like that. And Mary, I'm going to challenge you. This time, keep your legs straight, hinge from the hips, give me a jackknife. So push Ooh. down into the band. Beautiful. Great job. Give me four like that. Three. And two. I like how you're stopping at neutral, not letting those hips sag. Great job. Take a rest. 
Okay. Work. My whole body, I feel like, has been challenged and sparked, motivated, if you will, to do more, even just by sure. the little intro. I mean, what a great, what a great workout. Absolutely. The TRX band is an amazing piece of equipment. You know, it's incredibly affordable considering you can work your entire body, your body. with just one little canvas band, basically. Uh, it works muscles that in a different way than you would work in the gym. It's challenging those stability muscles. It's challenging those little muscles that you can't get to with, with a fixed position. Right. Uh, so it's a great investment. You, if, if you want to invest in it instead of going to a gym or if your gym has one. You know what I was just thinking about? If you're traveling, I travel so much so that's mm -hmm. always on my brain. Um, this is a really easy thing that you can pack because the hotel gyms never have sure. everything I want to use. Sure, absolutely. And as I said earlier, it is it's a safe new thing that you can try. It's not like kettlebells to where you you know you really have to have an instructor. I think Kelly has given you a great how-to, and we hope you will go and experiment in your life yourself. So if you have anything you want me to try, anything new, a new trend, something that looks a little scary, maybe something that seems cool, please choose the cool one. No, I'm kidding. Anyway, email me, mary at morethanmary.com. You can find me on Twitter, at Mary Rambin. And um, otherwise, I will see you soon here. Bye.